Hope Dr. Romano doesn't mind I'm coming in. Hi, Dr. Romano. I'm so glad I found you. Hi. I was just up on Student Doctor Network, and they were discussing there how we don't have to know nuclear chemistry on the DAT exam. Is that right? A great rule of thumb that I tell all my students is whatever you hear on Student Doctor, do the opposite, and you have a 99% success rate that you're going to be able to go in the right direction. So the bottom line is um, dismiss anything you hear on Student Doctor. Why don't we come around and stop with the stupidity and look at a reaction that is an integral part of the DAT exam. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uranium-235. I gave you the mass and I gave you the atomic number and I said to you it undergoes an alpha decay followed by a beta decay then another alpha decay and I want you to tell me what the resulting nuclide would be. The first thing we need to do is to understand what is an alpha particle. And as you can see, 4,2 helium with a plus two charge is an alpha particle. It's nothing more than a helium nuclei stripped of its electrons. In each alpha decay, the mass goes down by four and the atomic number goes down by two. In a beta decay, which is nothing more than an electron um, that's moving at high speeds, the mass will stay the, the same in the beta decay and the atomic number increases by one. So here you have an alpha, a beta, and an alpha, so you have two alpha decays. So I wrote to you the solution here to speed this up a little bit, but in, an al in two alpha decays, we're gonna have the mass going down by eight because each one, the mass went down by four and there was two of them, and the atomic number goes down by four. After the beta decay, the mass doesn't change, but the atomic number increases by one. Putting it all together now, we, we see that the mass has gone down by eight. If you're down by four and up by one on the atomic number, that's a, a, a decrease on the atomic number by three. So going back to uranium-235-92, we're gonna have the mass going down by eight. That will give me a 227 and the 92 goes down by three, gives me 89. You would click on the little icon and you would look up the number 89 and you would find that that number would be for this new element called actinium, AC. A guaranteed type of question for you to see on your deck. Part B of this question is an interesting one. I say to you that the half-life of strontium-90 is 28 years to find the rate constant. The first thing you want to do is to know that whenever you do a nuclear decay, it follows first order kinetics. And this is your main equation. K is for the rate constant. T half is the half-life, which is simply the time it takes for half of the sample to disintegrate. And the 0.693, which you've got to just memorize, is something that we derive from the calculus. So KT half equals 0.693, or the rate constant K, is 0.693 divided by T half-life. Put the numbers in. 0.693 is roughly 0.70. The half-life was 28. Now, watch what I'm gonna do. Let's solve this. 0.70, I love to get everything in scientific notation. So I'm gonna write 0.70 is seven to the minus one, and 28 is just 28 to the zero. Seven divided by 28 is 0.25 minus one, Minus a zero is a minus one. So you're going to get 0.25 to the minus one or 0.025 for the final answer. Um, two problems that you see in front of you are must-haves for the DAT exam. So you got to make sure you know how to do that. And of course, you know the theory. What does an alpha decay do? What does a beta decay do? I have questions like this in the destroyer and you'll be able to practice these. So I hope this gives you a good idea of what to do for these type of decays. Thank you, Dr. Romano. You're my in-house chemist, right? There's no such thing as an in-house chemist. I know some companies call an in-house chemist. Don't listen to any of the bullshit. Stick to the work. I'm showing you all these videos. I'm gonna be making up an arsenal of videos for free. And down the road, I'm thinking about having free pat and free reading for everybody. So save your money. I'm doing it all for free for you to help you guys out. Good luck, guys. See Thank you, you Dr. Romano. See you on Facebook. Good day to you, sir.